put one on each side. And I'll show you how I'm going to do that. And who would love to get a basket like this? I think my neighbor's going to be quite happy. And... Hi, this is Tracy from Gift Basket Appeal. And I'm going to be putting together a holiday basket for one of my neighbors. And they're a family um, of five. And I thought I'd get them some goodies to put in the basket. Some things they might like, maybe some cookies. I got some breakfast um, granolas, Cheez-Its, and I put some candy canes in there because it is the holidays, and hot chocolate, and some decorative cups as well. So let's get started. The basket I'm going to use today is a much larger basket and the nice thing about this basket is that it can be used uh, once they're finished uh, going through all of their goodies. So um, it's a lined basket. I've had this basket for a while and so I'm glad I have the opportunity to give it away in a beautiful basket. I'm going to start with some tissue paper and I'm going to line the bottom and that'll be some decoration I'm going to use and I'll be using some tissue paper throughout filling in and I'm going to get ready to assemble the basket. So let's assemble the basket. I've got the larger items. I thought I'd get some candles for them. And I'm building my basket by putting the larger items in the middle. And so I may have to keep reworking this until I get it. So just bear with me. I like boxed items because they kind of fit real easy. Okay. And sometimes you just have to rework some of these things until they actually fit properly in the basket. And this is not wine, it is sparkling cider. So this one's a little bit tricky, it's a lot larger than most of the baskets that I make. And now I'm going to just drop these cookies down in here so they'll fit. And somehow fit my little cider in there, bottle cider, so I'm trying to work around this. Get it in there. comfortable with it. This probably takes a little bit maneuvering. Then I'll be ready to put it all together and wrap it up. Assembling the basket is always the toughest part. basket that I thought was pretty large now becomes actually becomes very small especially once you get everything in there okay. 
Okay. Getting there. Got one cut right there. And put another one on the back end here. Kind of fit that in. Lay my cookies on top. And now I've got one more item, which is my candy canes. Where do I want to put my candy canes? Let's see. This is going to be, they're going to love this. And it's just a way of showing my neighbors that I really appreciate them. That looks like that might be it. I'm just gonna try and turn this around a little bit more. Put my candy canes in there. And I think I've got it. Now I'm gonna to start to stuff my basket with some more decorative tissue all around the sides to kind of fill in any holes and it gives it more color. And so I've got some bright green tissue paper and I'm going to start filling in some holes. Of course, red and green is, uh, red and green are the Christmas colors. And as you can see, I'm filling in the holes so everything fits really snug and tight. next to the candy cane around the back and now I'm pretty comfortable with the way this basket is starting to turn out and so time to wrap it up going to put my basket off to the side and I just got to be a little bit careful because I've got it all stuffed in and packed up and so I can spread my cellophane out. You know, I always use this clear cellophane, uh, especially if the basket has a lot of color, but they do have cellophane in different colors. And now I'm going to gently pick up my basket and place it with the even, so it's even on both sides. And let's see how much I want to come over the top with my cellophane. Uh, for me, that's not enough. I need it to be higher. So I'm going to roll out a little more. I'm going to adjust my basket a little bit. That's enough. And I'm going to put this in here and bring it over the top like that. And that's enough. It's better to have more than less. So I don't really like to, um, I like to have enough cellophane so that if I need to cut it down, I could always cut it down. So more is better than less. Let's go ahead and cut the cellophane across the top. And that one just actually dropped, but that's okay. I've already started cutting and I have it marked with my finger. So I kind of know exactly where I want to cut. So I'm just holding it up and cutting and cutting until it drops. And now I'm going to use some ribbon and it's nice. Uh, gold ribbon for the holidays and I'll show you how I'm going to tie this up. Got my cellophane that I've already cut on both sides and I'm going to squeeze it toward the bottom kind of making sure that I've got it tight enough 
And wow, they're going to love this basket. And it's nice because you can do different things. You can do a uh, movie night basket. You can do a couple's basket, which is real nice. Put little goodies for a couple having, maybe they're having a movie night at home. Put a snuggly blanket in there too. Put some nice little throw blankets you can put in a basket as well. And so I'm just leaving some on the side here. little opening here. I'm going to close that later, so don't worry about that. On this side too, I'm just checking, making sure everything is drawn up real tight. And now I'm going to tie it off. Take my ribbon, and you might have to practice a couple of times. I usually I've had to practice this a couple of times, but after a while it gets easy tying it off with one hand. So I'm just making, I'm going to tie it twice to secure it. So I've got it once here, and I'm just making sure everything is real tight. And I'm going to go and close up the sides now. And so right now I have the sides out a little bit, but I'm going to tuck those under and tape it. Uh, I've got this part here that's sticking up, but that's okay um, because I'm going to go back and cut some of that off the top. And so now I'm going to tuck it under. I usually use this type of tape, it's like a packing tape, but I like it because it, it holds the basket in place really good when I'm tying off the cellophane and it doesn't show. So basically I take about this amount of tape, I'm not sure if you can see that. Okay, so all I do is I just take this, make sure it's closed on the sides. And I tuck this underneath the basket and just tape it once. Okay, and it's secure. And we'll just do that on both sides. Here's the other side. Take a piece of tape. Tuck this under. And just do it until you get it. Tuck it under until you get the way you want it. Put a piece of tape underneath there. And then it's good to go. And now we're ready to attach the bow. Okay, so now I'm finished attaching my bow. And when I make bows, I like to use the double uh, bow and use two different colors, two different textures. And so I'm just gonna turn this around so you can see the other side. And I like to decorate both sides. If you want to see the instruction on how to make the double bow, uh, many of you have seen my other videos, just click right here. And I'll also post the link at the end of this video uh, to that instruction on how to make that bow. So now what we're going to do is on top of here, I'm not happy with this, so we got to cut that down a little bit. So all I do is I gather this up. I'm going to cut the upside down V or kind of a triangle. Take some off of there and let that fall so it makes that little fan-like effect. It doesn't have to be perfectly neat. And I think for an added touch, I had been thinking about this, I want to put an ornament on it or attach an ornament to it. And I'm going to attach it 
Let's see which side. I think I'm gonna attach the ornament on this side of the basket. I could actually do both. I'll put one on each side and I'll show you how I'm gonna do that. If you notice, I've got this gold ribbon sticking out. It's very decorative. I'm just going to take one of these ornaments and I had been thinking about this for a while, wanting to do it, but never did it before. So I'm going to string this ornament. It's very light and it's pretty. It's just gonna add a little bit more to the bow. And you can get fancy. If you wanna stop there, you don't have to attach one, but I'm just going to take So it's just gonna sit right in the middle of the bow. So it looks kind of like a flower, like the centerpiece to a flower. And I'm just going to tie it on there with my silver ribbon. I like attaching things to the ribbon, uh, especially in the centerpiece. Or you could even have an ornament dangling. So there's different ideas, different things you can do with it. And there's my and so it looks good, it adds, and it's nice and glossy, so it adds a little bit of shine to your ribbon. And who wouldn't love to get a basket like this? I think my neighbors are gonna be quite happy. And, and there you go. So you can just kind of play around with that, get it the way you want it. Let's see if I can roll it up using my scissor. And you'll see this in my bow making tutorial in the other video as well but so that's how I'm attaching my ornament and let's turn it around to the other side and I've got another ornament same color green I could have done green I could have done white you know you just mix up your colors you could have done gold also so I'm just keeping it red and so I'm taking that ribbon again just folding it a little bit so I can string it like a thread and I'm just attaching it. And so I had been wanting to do this, not sure how it was gonna come out, but I like it. I'm just gonna tie it at the top. I probably could tie it at the bottom as well. Yep, I could tie it at the bottom. Bring the ribbon around this way. And I'm just tying it once. These are very light uh, ornaments. They're not heavy at all. Uh, if you want to secure it more, you just tie both if it's somewhat of a heavier ornament. But you can get really fancy, so just be creative with it. Um, and thanks to all of you who have tuned in uh, to my previous video about how to make a beautiful gift basket. I appreciate all the support and all the comments. And so, I think my neighbors are going to like this. I'll just give it one more turn around so you can see it. Oh, this is nice. I think they're going to really like this. And like I said, I sometimes I just don't know what the basket's going to turn out like when I first start it. Mm -hmm. But if you get just the basic concept of how to make a basket, you can basically be very, very creative with it. And so, there's the basket. I want to wish all of you a happy holiday. And I want to thank you for tuning in. And enjoy your holiday. Bye.